Hello guys, welcome back to Line App. For today's video, we are going to show you or discuss with you how to use Facebook Audience Insights or Meta Audience Insights. So if you're interested, let's start a tutorial. So in this case, you might be wondering how do exactly Facebook in, uh, Facebook Audience Insights here or just Meta Audience Insights. Well, the thing with Facebook uh, Meta or Facebook Audience Insights here is we first need to understand what it is and how do we exactly access it. Well, so first is Meta Insights, formerly known as Facebook Insights, is a set of powerful tools provided by Meta Platform, so formerly like Facebook, that enables businesses, marketers, and content creators to analyze and understand their performance on Meta Platforms, including Facebook, Instagram, and other integrated services. So these tools provide uh, detailed analytics and about how users interact with content pages or advertisements. So helping users optimize their strategies and achieve their goals. Now, if you want to boost or improve, or in this case, uh, uh, use the data that you gather from insights here to your advantage and make your content a lot better or change your strategy while well, using um, meta insights is something that you might want to do here so in this case how do you exactly it? access it now you can access it via the official facebook uh, page here which is uh, facebook.com slash business slash insights and as you can see, this is how you access. So you could go and click on go to audience insights. It will lead you to the login page. But once you've logged that, you could go ahead and access Meta Business Insights. Now, in this case, the thing with this one is you could also access it by business.facebook.com by logging into your account. And just make sure that you're accessing your uh, correct page that you're using. So make sure to access it at the top left here. And But in this case, once you've done that, at the left panel, you should be able to see insights. Go ahead and click on it. And this is what you'll be seeing. Now, how do you exactly use it? Again, like what I said before, this is more about uh, viewing different information about your page and how you are exactly, uh, how you are, or how your page is actually performing. So first, at the left side, you have your overview. So basically, from the name itself, it gives you the overview for your page. Like for example, your reach, your three-second views for your videos, one-minute views, watch time, and content interactions. So in this case, obviously, since my page is very new, I will not, or this doesn't show much uh, information in here. But then again, if you are getting enough uh, traffic in your page, you should be able to see uh, some uh, information in here. Now, if you go to pl the plan section here, this will actually gives you your weekly plan. So it will give you different suggestions. Like for example, you don't know what to do for your page. Well, in this case, it will guide you. Like for example, you uh, it will uh, suggest you to maybe publish an ad here, even publish one post on Facebook, publish one story on Facebook, even connect your Instagram account here, maintain a response rate of 1%. So typically this is for like messaging on your app or within the Meta uh, platform or Facebook, and also view your insights. So let's, that's what we are doing right now. Now, it should also give you like your plan history here, as you can see for the uh, following days. So if you completed the tasks on a daily basis. So basically speaking here, it just guides you on uh, what to do, what to do next. So in this case, uh, we all that keeping up with your content actually boost what uh, will happen on the following days. So having a habit here can actually help a lot, which is something the plan is aiming you to do. Next is we have our results. Now results actually gives us the, from the name itself, results of uh, uh, what happened to our content. Like for example, how many uh, people reach our content, uh, our content interactions, our link clicks or our clicks here, our visits, our follows here. It gives you an overview of what is happening right now on your page. Depending on it, you could go ahead and view sp those specific sections here. Now you could go ahead and export them into a PNG or a CSV and PDF if you want to arrange this in a report format like you have your own uh, reporting like if you want to add this to your PowerPoint presentation but again depending on where you want to use it you can actually export it and also we have our audiences now our audience here actually gives us the uh, information about our audience like for example in order for you to view this or view your demographics specifically you need at least like one of your followers in order for you to uh, show what your demographics data here and also you need to make sure that they are not your friends as well. So in this case, uh, if they are your friends, they will not include your de demographics here. But then again, it will show you information like your top cities, your top countries here. So if you do like, for example, you see a surge of um, interaction on a specific city or a surge of interaction on a country, well, maybe you could base your content on that specific country or that location and see if that clicks to your target audience here, or you could basically change your strategy from that information that you'll be seeing. 
Now, you could also see your trends here, like your follows, your turning viewers, your engaged followers, and all those data. Also, have you have potential audience here. So in this case, these are, again, like, like potential audience you have. So this is are the audiences on different locations, your top countries here that have the most views, as you can see. And also, they have the top so, uh, countries as well. Now, messages here just uh, gives you information about your messages, like your total contacts, the number of messages, and messaging conversations started by other people or by uh, different potential customers or viewers. And uh, yeah, so in this case, it just shows you like information about them, like organic and paid messages. Also, outcomes from that, so orders created. So if you have a store uh, connected to your uh, meta business or you have a store connected to your store uh, meta business account here. So yeah. It gives you all those information. Now, we also have benchmarking here. So in this case, it actually is a comparison tool here for business insights. So it's, if you want to have a quick overview and overview on this one, you could go and click on get started. But in this case, this will give you uh, some information like your Facebook followers, your followers, your kinds of interactions, and even create your posts from here and the businesses that to watch out from. So in this case, you can add business here, uh, businesses here and compare that to your own. Now, if you want to start managing your content, you can go to over uh, uh, to content here at the left side. So you could create your post from here as well. You could also view your overview, like for example, your reach, like what we saw from uh, in the overview section. And also, if you want to view your earnings, you could basically click it in the left side here, and you should see your all all the earnings or per, approximate earnings for your account. Now, again, you could export them if you want to. Uh, yeah. By the way, uh, at the top right, you could go ahead and change a few things. Like, for example, if you want to view the data for the last 28 days, last 90 days, this month, this, uh, this week, or this year even, if you want to. So, yeah, basically that's how you use insights here. So, generally speaking, you use insights to improve your content and even change some strategies or just if you just want to learn how you are performing. Well, insights it is a great tool here. But in this case, that's about it. Hopefully this video is able to help you like and subscribe to your lineup. Thank you for watching.